Here we have a company called Dokes Bet. So you want to deposit, account deposit. You enter the amount in there, and then you just click on Net Teller, and it's normally got your Net Teller. It takes you to another page and it's got your net teller account number stored. You just put in your secure ID and hit submit existing. Okay, so that's how you deposit. And then you just go over to the left here and find soccer. So you've got all the different games, all the different leagues. So there's a premiership there. England Premier League. And then you should have all the games will just appear here in a minute. So there you are, Tottenham against West Ham. That's the next game. So again, you just pick whatever event. The 1 stands for the home team, the X stands for the draw, and the 2 stands for the other team. You just click the one you want. And it goes into your betting slip, and you just put in the amount you want to bet, and hit place bet. It's quite simple, just the same as most other bookmakers. I've found that I don't use Dokes Bet as much as I used to, because um, they stopped accepting big bets from a couple of players, and um, they stopped one payment, they didn't pay um, one player. One affiliate, so I've stopped using them as much now, but they were good for quite a few months. So if you can get a a new affiliation with Dokes Bet, uh, if you build a new site and you want to apply to their affiliate program, it's probably a good idea because they offer 33% of net revenue, which is pretty good. Um, but currently, I don't really use Dokes Bet at all. Um, so if you were going to use DocsBet, you would need to get a new website and a new gambler for them who doesn't have an account with DocsBet because people are only allowed to have one account with each company. So that's DocsBet.